Okay, the last uh, reciprocal function of the trig function is cotangent function, which we'll call it a y equals cot x, which is y equals 1 over 10x. Now, I'll just put this one in there. Now, that means cos x over sin x because it'll be 1 over 10x. 10x is what? Sin x over cos x, which reciproc of that is a cos x over sin x. And of course, sin x cannot be 0 because we cannot divide it by 0. So there will be asymptotes when x sin x is 0. Okay, And also when cos x is 0, there will be an x intercept. So it will look like something like this. So all these asymptotes where the sin x will be 0. It will be 0 pi 2 pi. And also when cos x is 0, which is a pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, it will be x intercepts will be there. Now, we might this all this dotted line will be the original tan x. Okay, so how do I know, miss, then if I had this x intercept there, it might go to this way, it might go to that way. Well, let's have a look and check. Okay, so here it's a 30 degree, 45, 60. And that's 120, 135, 150, 180. So what's a 10, 30? It's one of a root 2, I mean root 3. And that reciprocal of that is root 3. That's about 1.7. And same as uh, 1045 will be 1. And well, I'll just say cot 60 will be 1 over root 3, which is 0 0.6. So which means it's going from um, big to small so it's going like this okay and same thing happens here and that's minus 0 0.6 minus 1 minus 1.7 it getting smaller to getting bigger so that will be the pattern okay so as you can see the period here is pi okay so let's test something here now we go with the type okay so I'm gonna pick cot 30 degrees. I'm going to use degrees just to, to get easier. But if you want, we can do radians, which is pi over 6. Now, if you look at this here, pi over 6, which is 30, is root 3, isn't it? So I'm going to go root 3. Oops, my 3 looks funny. And then I'll go cot minus 30 degrees will be Okay, so my minus 30 will be here somewhere, and then it goes down. So roughly it will be negative, isn't it? Because it's below x-axis, so it's a negative. So it will be negative root 3, which is, I can write it as minus cot 30. Because if I've cot 30 is root 3, I'll just put minus there. That's a classical odd function, because what is an odd function? When I put negative x, f of x, it'd be minus f of x. So it's odd. And again, if I put, this is my first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, and fourth quadrant. First quadrant, ten, cot is positive, just like a 10. And again, it'll be positive in a third quadrant. So the all station to central doesn't really change at all, even it's a reciprocal, okay? So let's have a look at domain. Mm, everything will be okay except for the um, asymptotes part. So I will just go with the same as a, the rest of them. Asymptotes happening because it's a fraction. Okay, anything with a fraction, it'll happen. Except x equals 0, pi, uh, 2 pi, and so on. And then range... It would be, um, yeah, well, we don't have to think about the middle part or anything because it goes all the way to the infinity and the negative infinity, just like a 10 function. So I'm just going to go like that. That's it, period. We talk about that as a pi. Amplitude, no. Okay, so that's our cot tangent, which is y equals cot x.